Hey, it's Bridget. Hi. The wind has been my friend the last few days. It's been very windy and a little chilly. Of course, I'm not one to judge the temperature because <laughs> I've been in Florida previously and it was nice and warm there and so nice and warm. Oh, so nice and warm. But the wind has been my friend. It has felt like a dominant element for me. So I wanted to take this opportunity with you to talk to you about elements and how special and sacred nature is to us. You don't even realize it really, really, really. I, I don't either like the depth of the power of the connection that nature gives to us. It's alchemical. What does alchemy mean, really? It means you have the power and the ability to transmute, to change situations, circumstances, and including your own perspective using what we consider alchemy. It's like making your own magic. And it's not that complicated. And if you work with elements, you can certainly do that. And I don't mean like casting spells or magic potions. I mean working with energy. Super simple, keep it basic. The wind, the breeze, the air today, it's a little chilly. Like I said, I prefer it to be much more warm and humid. However, the air has been something so muse-like for me, really helping me to, to shift and clear and support a process that I've already begun previous to my recognition of the air element recently. So usually fire is my dominant element. I have fire in my belly, I'm a fire bear. I do a lot of clearing work and, and really help light the pathway. And so that's just always been a part of me. And now, here now in the last month since April, I've really been feeling the air element and having such an appreciation for it. So air represents, for me, it represents some of these common threads and themes that I can share my personal experience with you so that you can understand and notice and recognize some of the common themes or patterns that the elements will provide to you. We're starting with air here as in our, our conversation today. So air represents change, shift, it can help to gently change things or swiftly change things. <laughs> and you have a choice in that. You do have a say in that. Okay, you really, really do. And the wind, ele the wind or the air element is helping, it helps to support our heart, our heart's desires, what our heart needs, our heart's yearning, our heart's longing. Often the, the voice of the heart is quieted and because it becomes it becomes kind of stifled by other things, the mind primarily. And because of that experience, the, the heart doesn't express itself quite as much as it could. It, it could, and, and in support of ourselves too. And so just by breathing, filling up our lungs and our chest, we open up the ability for our heart to receive more. And so the air element helps work with the heart space, the heart chakra, and helps us to receive, helps us to expand our ability to receive, helps us to, to truly be present. You know, whatever that means or looks like for you, you don't have to get all deep with it. Just take a breath. A breath is a pause. It's a moment of respite. It's something we need. Everybody needs it. Even if you pretend like you don't, you, I see you being all busy over there. It's something that we truly, truly deeply need and can appreciate. And when we take that opportunity to welcome the air element in. Ah, nice connection. Awesome. So I often recognize the air element as a muse. So it brings in new ideas, fresh ideas, and supports and promotes creativity. I see the air often with artists, people who create art and people who have been asking, asking the universe, praying for support and guidance for, for their life's purpose, for their mission, for, for a, a change in their current circumstance or situation. And the air element comes in and helps to provide that through the muse-like energy. Now, musing energy isn't just for the artists, the poets, the dreamers. A muse-like energy is for the creators, which we all are. It doesn't matter how good you are as an artiste, you are the artist of your life and maybe part of the challenge for you and truly part of the problem up to this point has been that you can't just accept the fact that you are creating, you are creative. So often I will hear, well, I'm not creative, I'm not creative. I'm like, well, that might be the problem is that you don't accept the fact that because you're living and breathing as a human being and you had that magic of that alchemy of your spirit with you and energy around you and you can't 
accept that you have that or receive that that's amazing and awesome, that's probably the problem. <laughs> Do you not feel valuable or worthy of that? You are magic. You are. Think about all the systems in the body and how crazy miraculous it is that all of these detailed systems and processes are working on autopilot mode. There's some kind of rhythmic pattern and coordination that's happening that you don't have to think about in order to breathe, to make sure your heart is pumping, to make sure that blood is circulating in your body. You don't have to, you don't have to consciously think about that to make sure it's happening. It just happens. Like all of these systems are working interchangeably, simultaneously. What about the senses? What about that that experience of touch what about i mean there's so many things sound and hearing and light and seeing and wow i mean there's so much how can you not receive that as being part of this incredible creative co-creative process of rhythms and patterns and synchronicities and alignment how can you not that's you that's you. You are that miracle. It's just amazing if you think about it. So the air element has been bringing forward for me muse-like energy and really bringing back up and into my life some ideas and things that I've thought about previously that are now coming to a point where I'm seeing some clarity, more clarity around those thoughts or ideas that that give me a more solid footing or foundation or basis now to actually take some action. First comes clarity then that energy integrates in and even more clarity comes through with that air element and then then there's action that can unfold after in the natural pattern action does not come first the awareness and the clarity must come first and in order to know that you've got to receive it in order to receive it you got to be giving yourself the permission to be at that time, in that moment, in that place, present for the air to be received, for example. Other elements have fantastic attributes as well, but this is just the beginning of our conversation to just open up to this concept of working with the elements. It's not just for certain genres of spirituality. Elements are for everyone. You don't have to be a shaman to work with elements. Everyone does. Or to work with alchemy. Some of my favorite spiritual guides are alchemists. Mm -hmm. The transmuting energy, working with energy, being that creative energy, Merlin-like vibe. I love it. Don't you? Come on. Come on. You got to know. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Especially if you watch my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel. You know, as a magical student, it's not only fun and interesting and curious to learn about all of these things, it is quite spectacular to realize how amazing our life is crafted and how we take part or don't take part based upon if we choose to receive how amazing something as simple as the elements are and the breath and air to support us, to help us, to guide us, to help us to navigate through this interesting path that we are on as we are in our human body state. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening today. I hope I've inspired your spirit today and filled you up with some hope and given you some place to start with the element of air. Thanks for watching. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to the channel here so that you never miss a weekly... Oh, actually, Above Life channel is my channel with weekly videos. Here on Fairy Grasshopper channel, I do vlogs and interesting intuitive videos on different topics. I do card readings, all sorts of fun, interesting stuff. So make sure you subscribe to Fairy Grasshopper channel too. All right. Thanks for being here.